Hey, what's up you guys? Shardness Prime here doing another vehicle review on the 112 scale ramen toy ramen racer. Oh man, we remember the engine of vengeance from Hasbro, how that Haslab didn't make it and the whole story behind that that offering didn't look terrible but there are things about it that i didn't like and there those things that i didn't like well those things aren't there with this right over here now i've had this for a little while and a lot of you guys said yes please well i am here to deliver so we're going to take a look at this ramen racer over here of course it's light because i've taken it out of the box already now i gotta give a big thanks to Ace and Ramen Toy. I did buy this myself. I did buy one of the upgrade ki kits, but they hooked me up with at least one or two upgrades that I didn't order, but I actually did pre-order elsewhere. And you'll find out where that was in just a moment. But first, uh, it's a big secret too. You're never gonna guess. But it says Ramen Racer right over here. Nice imagery of the Dodge. Ramen Racer right there. Ramen Racer over there with some, oh, showing off which one they had sent me. So they checked these boxes right there. And then on the back, you get the same image of the Ramen Racer. Not much more at the bottom or on the top. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And if you're trying to get your Ramen toy figures or vehicles or ramen racer accessories you can do so it big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> and here is a look at the ramen racer and you may hear construction in the background sorry about that but anyway this thing looks awesome i love that it comes with all these modes now i didn't originally order all the accessories and we will get into that more, but I love that you can have the option of the 68 charger. You could have a 69 charger and a 70 charger on display as well as the hell charger, which is just fantastic. I did order the accessories for those. Absolutely. So, but anyway, forgive me if I get some of the details wrong between the different models and years, but I'm going to try my best to be accurate. I did my research. Anyway, let's get a closer look. <laughs> Now, unless I'm mistaken, everything that you see that I have on the Ramen Racer right now, except for the swapped tail lights and the missing piece in the middle right here, comes with just the regular purchase of the Ramen Racer. Uh, I will mention I did drop this somewhere at one point. There's a middle piece right there for it to be a 69 Dodge Charger, and I don't know how I dropped that. I've had this for a little while now, and I didn't even realize that detail it has to be there for it to be the 69 Charger. I know I put it down somewhere, but anyway, you get these front front grill pieces right here which look really nice and I really like how that looks it's pretty badass man I really love the chrome on this thing and you can see that right there those are the tires that come with it when you get it and there's interchangeable hood pieces over here which I'll get into later on I'm going to show off all the interchangeable parts later but I just want you to get a good look at it just as is the windshield looks great right there there's looking at the top of the vehicle. You can see the gas cap right there, which I believe is removable. Use this yet. Yeah, there that goes. So yeah, you get your C cable charger that you can plug into there. Ah, why not? Let's go for it. I'm gonna go ahead. It comes with the plug, so you could go ahead and put that in there. And then you have these switches on the bottom. You can see I have the 68 charger tail lights right here, unless I'm mistaken. Actually, yeah, this comes with the bonus set. But these are 68 taillights. These are 69, 70 taillights right here. That's right. So it comes with all the parts for it to be a 69 charger. So this, this would be correct if you wanted a 69, but I have it in a 68 charger mode right now. And then you get a switch underneath here. And oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Woo. That is dope. You can turn around, see the headlights right here. Oh, one of these spikes just came off as I was doing that. Ah, oh, it's badass. And then there's an option to flip the switch so that it just has the lights on. I shut it off, but then you switch it to the right one more time, and now those tail lights are glowing. Then we got headlights glowing right there too, without any sound, which is badass. I accidentally knocked off one of these, but hey, let's go ahead and take this off. Take this off. It's held on via magnet, and then we could change that up with a different 
uh, bumper right here, which I believe is for the 70 charger, for the 1970 charger. And then I can just demonstrate right here. Well, I also want you to see here, I'm gonna shut this off. I'm gonna open up the hood over here and put this gas cap back on. And you get this little case where you could put a chargeable battery, which it doesn't include, and it has a little opening so you could put the cable out through there and then plug into here so you don't have to have it plugged in to a wall or anything like that. And I like how the trunk looks. So that looks pretty good. You can see some texturing along inside there, but I'm gonna, and I like how the exhaust looks right over here too. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this out and we'll switch it from a 68 to a 69 or a 70. And that rests in there nicely. I don't know why, but it's harder to put this one in than this. And that looks really good too. And then instead of using the gas cap, you could also plug this into the bottom right over here, which is a little tricky to see. And then we can get those lights on so you can see how it looks with these tail lights. And you can see how that comes across right over there. So that's pretty damn sweet, man. And then here's looking at the other side, I'll go ahead and shut this off and then unplug it and there's the other side right there nice tires and everything i love the rims i love how you can squish down on it it's got shocks i love how the seats look on the inside of this thing you can see the nice leathery details right here and you can move these forward uh this slides up and down a bit right here as well which is cool you can move uh your gears right here and then the door itself looks pretty nice on the inside. I like that tan interior, nice silver. Uh, you got some nice reflective, uh, <laughs> you got actual mirrors right here in the side mirrors. You can see all the dials on the inside over there. I tried opening the glove box, but the glove box isn't open. You can see the gas and brake pedals all the way back there. Oh, just a little bit easier to see from this side. You can see all that on the inside and damn, that looks sick. Ah. So happy with that. You could also rotate the steering wheel right here too. So that's very cool. I love how that looks, man. Damn, we've got some pretty good shots right here. Paint on the inside looks pretty good. I move this forward and slide it forward. You can see the felt at the bottom over there. This is held up in the front via magnet. So I just popped that off. But yeah, you can see the seats back there. I'm gonna throw in a photo so you can see those details a little bit better. It's kind of tricky to pick up on the camera without picking it up and shaking things around so you guys get all nauseous or whatever. But yeah, the details on this thing are incredible. It's very, very cool. I really like it a lot, man. And then you also get interchangeable tires. So you could use these right here, which in, if I'm not mistaken, these are specific to the stock hubcaps that came with the original 68 Charger or the 69 or all of them. I, I don't know, but these are stuck stock hubcaps. I think they're advertised as only coming with the hubcaps themselves, but I got the whole tire. So that's pretty cool. And then you also get different hoods. So you can see we get a vented hood right over here, which looks very, very cool. And then you have this open hood right here. And these are part of the bonus accessories. You have this open hood so you can get the supercharger engine going and just place that on top of the engine block swapping these out is a little bit tricky um it's just that this side right here is a little harder for me to tab out but you can just go ahead and tab these in right here so we have that opening and then you can take the engine block out which man i really love all that back metal it's all hollow on the inside right there and then you can port this on top of it and get this, I guess this is the serpentine belt. It does want to, it's held via magnet, so it's gonna fly off. I wish it had some kind of tabbing and securely port that in. It does have a port in there. And then you could shift this around a little bit to close it up like that. Damn, that looks badass. I really like that look a lot. That's so freaking cool, right? Doesn't it look a little bit better with that on there? And then we get the four translucent tires over here and i like that the rear tires and the front tires are different sizes so you want to just keep track of that and you want to keep track about how you port these on so how you remove the tires it's fairly easy to do you just need a regular phillips head screwdriver there is one other accessory i want to show off but i'm going to show off switching the tires first so uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and pop off these little magnetic hubcap pieces, which are tricky to get off, but they're super easy to put back on. You just use sticky tech to get those off. It makes it way easier. You just take your screwdriver and unscrew right 
and then unscrew right here and you get this very long screw it's actually pretty cool that they have the brake pads and the disc brake right over here now usually when i've changed brakes the brakes are up at the top but when you port this in uh it's specific so that uh and it says back left so you got to keep track of where everything goes and it's going to be like that i guess you could have the brakes on the side like that i don't know i don't know i'm not a car guy my dad is that's why i know anything at all about fixing cars you know i do basic stuff i've changed brakes uh i, I changed the oil in, in the cars not a car guy but i got the basics right okay and then i wanted to grab one of these larger tires we're supposed to have that little black piece on the inside right there i'm just like dropping stuff all over the place look how sloppy this is it's hot in here so it's tough to keep the concentration going but i want to line this up and you got to have that black piece in there specifically matching this right here because if it doesn't match up right or correctly then your tires are going to be facing the flames are going to be going the wrong way these are basically flame ports i think i grabbed the wrong black piece here so let me put this all back aha this is the right one that's the right one see because now once i get that on there i could go ahead and screw it back on ah it's supposed to be the other way like that right no nope. Nope, I was right the first time. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. There that goes. So you can see how it has that angle. You want a 45 degree angle going backwards. That's how you know. That's how you know you're doing it right, is that you want that position. And now I can just screw this back on right here. Without dropping shit. This is why I'm not good at cars. Damn it, and then I got this magnet. There we go. All right, that's in there nice and tight. And that wheel rolls and you still get the suspension going and everything so that's pretty cool by the way those these little hubcaps right here are held on via magnet and then part of the flames accessory set you get four different tire flame effects and they're all holding on with those two little ports right over there unfortunately on just one of them one of those ports did snap on me so i do get sagging flames i think it's this one right here actually yeah or no was it the other one i can't remember but just to demonstrate you want to pour it in there and that's how it will see yeah this is for the wrong side they are they are all specific to where they're supposed to go it says back right on this one they have little letter indicators on there so while it's tricky to see that doesn't stand for florida that's fl right there so we want to look for a bl and that's back right that's front left that's the engine block piece this is it right here back left and if you move the tire around these will still stay in place so you don't have to worry about that tire moving just look what you're just look at what you're doing and there you go now you have that on there and that looks cool as hell so i'm going to do that to the rest of these in a moment uh, you can see it will still roll with the flame effects on there which is really really cool but you also get the added uh engine block right here and uh you could put this flame effect on top of it or the supercharger so you could take this off held via magnet it'll stay right there and then you could take this piece, turn it on. I already put the batteries in there. And this is supposed to sit on top. It has a couple of little pegs on it, but I snapped those. And before I snapped them, it never even got like into position properly anyway. So I'm not saying, yeah, so it's, it's not like everything just broke on me super easily, but there are parts where it's a little finicky. So it'll rest on there. It works, but the second I move it, it's falling over, and that bums me out. I wish they had a more secure system for tabbing that in. I read through the directions thoroughly, and it just never locked in properly for me. But I could still get it on there and make it look cool. So anyway, I'm going to off-camera put the rest of the tires and flame effects on there, and then I'm going to show you the last accessory. And the last accessory is this Robbie Ray's Ghost Rider head sculpt, which I did not expect to get in here. I think they may have mentioned it before, but uh, yeah, I just forgot about it. And damn, I'm so happy they included this. It really does complete the set over here. I'm so happy to have it. Now, it doesn't light up. I think the HasLab one that was promoted as having a light up feature. And I think I did nick off a little 
piece of flame getting him in the car. I did pop this on my Johnny. Uh, now, this is awesome. I, I really do like it a lot, but these little flame pieces right here on the jaw, they just pop off way too easily, so I have to re-glue those, and the lower jaw falls off the figure fairly easy. So I'll demonstrate really quick, um, you know, porting it onto this Johnny Blaze retro card Ghost Rider figure. Uh, you, you can see that parts are going to come apart in a second. Ugh. Oh, hey, hey, it all held together. Oh, wait, no, you can see this coming out. You know what I mean? So, yeah, a little bit of a bummer. But while I have the Engine of Vengeance or the Ramen Racer all lit up, could open the door, uh, get this scooted back. Let's see if we can get him in position over here. And sneak him on inside there. And do some adjusting so that he's, you know, reclined and holding the steering wheel. Move this down right here. The gear shifter. There you go. He, he's chilling. He's cruising, right? Close the door like that. And now we have Ghost Rider and the not Engine of Vengeance, but the Ramen Racer. Oh, yeah. For it to be a 69, I have to add my clip in there. Here we go. Does that kind of work? It feels like it's more legit if I just throw that thing on there. <laughs> I'm so bummed out about missing that little piece right there because, yeah. But damn, this is cool as hell. Uh, I am so stoked about this. That is badass, man. Wow. Uh, I just, I gotta figure out a way to get this to stay on there. That's the only thing. And then to measure out this figure, well, before doing that, I just wanted to show off these stacks of tires, which would actually be cool for some ACBA, right? I think that'd be pretty neat. Did I show off how these hubcaps are magnetized right here? I didn't show off putting them on and off, but I did show off a picture of the Ramen Racer using these tires, but I think that is just a very nice touch. Very easy to swap those. But again, uh, I wanted to measure out this vehicle, and you can see it's about 19 inches across and you're looking at about I don't know six inches in height and it's about six and a half to seven inches across and for some size comparisons here is the ramen racer next to the Bratz car by Mattel which was only 40 bucks and it is still crazy to me how cheap that is compared to this vehicle right over here and here's the ramen racer next to the McFarlane toys Batmobile or the 89 Batmobile and I did not get the ramen toy upgrade kit i forgot the name of it i saw robo got it and now i'm tempted to but i don't know i haven't been bothered by this color being off uh, as much as some other people have i've been okay with it even though i would probably end up getting that upgrade kit eventually but yeah there's your size comparison sorry about the pile and then here's the ramen racer next to our danny catch ghost rider with motorcycle and we have johnny blaze with his motorcycle and this is so cool to see these all side by side like this oh man I think I'm going to have to get another Danny Ketch so I can get these three all together. I don't know. That looks so badass to me, though. What do you think? Yeah, I think that looks so sick. Oh, and here's the Ramen Racer next to Blade. And I actually did pose my Toy Biz Blade movie figure next to this figure, but I didn't want to bring it back because, holy crap, that thing left all kinds of crud all over the place with that stupid cloak of his. Ah, damn it. I wish Hasbro will make a brand new movie Blade. That would be so sick. Then here's the Ramen Racer next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdowns. Spider-Man and no stop motion today. This video took me way longer than I thought it was going to take to make. Uh, there's just so much going on over here, but yeah, it, it will be back. Stay tuned. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to show some love by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And damn, I really love this set. Now I jumped in on that early bird special right away. I did not hesitate. Um, I think this offering was very solid. I actually like this vehicle more than what Hasbro was offering. Like, just the design of this and everything, it's just a cooler look for me. And it's a more accurate charger, and I just think it looked better. So, that's one reason why I wanted it. Uh, also, I love the option to buy add-ons if you want to. You don't have to get everything with it. Now, the price is still high, and I've said this before, after getting this figure over here, I do not think that the Engine of Vengeance was a ripoff because they were going to include a whole bunch of figures that would have come with it if they had hit their stretch goals. And they do factor in those figures. That's been confirmed now. So to me, it all added up. You know, it, the extra price point, including those figures, it adds up to what I paid for this. However, I will say, I think this is overall better. 
It has a lot more stuff and it looks cooler, but the downside to it is the quality control isn't the same as what I would get from Hasbro. I had a couple of breakages over here. Is that a real word? Breakage? Uh, breakages? But I had the, the little peg snap off, the tabs that go on to the engine block or the supercharger. That, you know, never really worked out very well for me. So, yeah, there are little things here and there, but... Oh man, it, it's so fun to play around with and it looks so dope that the price point, I, I feel very happy about it and for me it cost uh, $250 plus the accessories packs which was $20 so for around $270 bucks plus the shipping so it was like $320 Wow, we're all the way back up to see, see how this works you guys? We're already back up to $320 again? I'm going to give this ramen racer a sud rating of I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, whatnot, and Rakari. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. At the top of the vehicle, and then you could. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.